respected elders, educationists, dear teachers and dear students. Welcome. First of all, it is my kind request that those who have been subscribed our channel so far may, may kindly subscribe it. Dear students, in this class we are going to see the main uses of should, the model actually should, where they are, uh, where it is used. Come, let us see. Oxley Rips Part 4th B 10 main uses of should. Video 209, dated 17 12, 2023. Oxalate verbs, part 4, B, should, it has two kinds of pronunciation, the weak form is shed and the strong form is should, shed, should, when we stress the word should, we should pronounce it as should, when not, when we not stress it, we should pronounce it as shed. Should act as an auxiliary of the tense and model auxiliary. It acts in two ways. Sometimes it acts as an auxiliary of the tense. Then mostly it's, um, it is mostly used as a model auxiliary to express the mood of the speaker. Used to express condition, duty, intention and probability etc. Should can be used for present, future and past when preceded by a verb in person. That is, should can be used for all the three person, first person, second person and third person. And also it can be used for present and future tenses. And also it can be used uh, in past tense, in, 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 in past tense when it is preceded, when should is preceded by a past word. Let us see. I should write to him today or tomorrow. Represents present and future actions. I should write to him today or tomorrow. Present and future. I know I should write to him. Represents past even. I knew, I knew, not I know, I knew I should write to him. That is, I should have write to him, but I did. I did not write. So, it represents past event. She said that I should write represents past event. I knew or knew that I should have written. It uh, represents an action, past action. It represents a past action which was not fulfilled. Form, forms of should in affirmative, negatives, interrogatives and negative interrogatives. Affirmative, should, negative, should not or should, should, negative, should I do it, negative interrogative, should I not do it or should I do it. We can use uh, either, either, either use I and B. We can use uh, uh, any subject, any pronoun or noun we can use. Should is always follow, uh, followed by the by infinitives. That is, a yeah, person that can only follow should as shall. Only a person that can follow shall. Like that, only a person that can follow should. Not only shall and should. After all the actions, only a person that can follow. But in case, in case of B verbs, it, it, it would be B. And all other verbs, if you, if you recording have, have, recording do, do, then all other present verbs would follow all the accessories. 
This is the uh, I, this is the grammar of Vergesh. Uses of should. It is used to express the obligation or duty of the subject. Should is used to express the obligation. That is the duty of the subject. You should send him accurate income tax returns. It is the duty of the sender. You should send in accurate income tax returns. It is obligation of the sender or the duty of the sender. Then B. It is used to indicate a correct or sensible action. Should is used to indicate a correct or sensible action. The street is too narrow. They shouldn't allow anyone to park here. That is, at the, at the street is very, at the street is very narrow. The people living there should not allow anyone else, anybody else, to park their vehicles there. To park their vehicles there. It is their responsibility. The word is spelled wrongly. There should be another yes. Indication of mistakes. That is. Should is used to indicate a correct or sensible action. Here it, it is a sensible action. The road is very, the street is too narrow, very narrow. So the people that in the street should not allow others to park the vehicles there. And uh, it is uh, and, uh, then uh, correct, uh, correctness. The word is spelled wrongly. Uh, there should be another yes, indi indication of mistake. Here there are neither speaker's authority nor any external authority. Uh, dear students, in the, in, the, uh, in the first use, there is no outward authority, pressure on the doer. See, in the, in the two examples, there is no external or the speaker's pressure or authority over the doer. Then let us see the second use. It is used in formal notices and on information sheets. Should is used in formal notice and also on information sheet. Candidates should be prepared to answer questions under given papers. Giving information, candidates should be prepared to answer questions under given papers. Then third use, advice under recommendations. That is giving advice. Advising and recommending. It is used in giving advice or making recommendation. You will catch code if you go out like this. You will catch code if you go out like this. So it is the situations. It is the reality. So I think you should take you you should take a hat. If you go like this. At that time, without a hat, if you go out, you may, it is very cold. It is, as it is very cold, you may get cold. So it is better, I think, you should take a hat. That is giving advice. If you, if you, if you take a, a hat with you, it would be helpful. You can protect yourself from the cold. At that is, you will not be catching cold. But, for more emphatic advice, must is better. That is, for more emphatic advice, must is better than should. I think you must take a hat, giving an emphatic advice. That is, you should take a hat. Is less emphatic, <coughs> emphatic than you must take a hat. That is, you must take a that is more emphatic than you should take a hat. Then fourth is the probability. It is used to express something that is probably true now or will be probably true in the future. That is to, uh, to I mean, uh, to express something 
that is probably true now, but to express a reality, probable reality, should, can be used. We should have received the report by now. He should have received the report by now. That is, it is expressing probability. He, that is, uh, he should have received, he should have got the report by now. Expressing probability. I enjoyed her first novel. So, the new novel should be good. Expressing probability. Her, her first novel was good. I read it, it was good. So, the second, her second novel should be good. It is the expectation, possibilities, expressing the possibilities of something. In fifth years, should be continuous infinities. That is, should be continuous infinities. Should plus B plus present participle. Should with a continuous infinity is used to express the idea that the subject is not fulfilling his obligation or he is acting foolishly, rashly, etc. or not acting sensibly, prudently, etc. That is, should plus be plus present participle used to express the ideas that the subject is not fulfilling his obligation, his duty, or he is acting, or he is not, or he is acting foolishly or rashly, or not acting sensibly or prudently. You see the examples. He should he should be studying for his exam. That is, now he should be studying for his exams. He should be studying for his exams means he should be studying for his exam. It means no he is not studying for his exams. He should be studying for his exams means his sense is he is not studying for his exam. It means he is not studying for his exam. Then he shouldn't be spending all his time on the beach. That is, he shouldn't be spending all his time on the beach. It means he is spending all his time on the beach. It means he is spending all his time on the beach. I shouldn't be telling you this. That is, I shouldn't be telling you this secret. It means, but I am telling the secret to you. See? I shouldn't be telling you this means I am telling you this. I shouldn't be telling you this means I am telling this to you. I shouldn't be telling this to you. I shouldn't be the, telling you this. But I am telling you this. I am telling you something that I should not be telling you. I am telling you something that I should not be telling you. It means, then let us see the seventh, the sixth use, should be the perfect infinity, as we saw in a should plus be plus present participle, to express the unfulfilled actions of the speaker, I mean of the subject. Here, it should plus go plus past participle. This construction used to express an unfulfilled obligation or a sensible action that was neglected. In the negative, it expresses a wrong or foolish action of the past. This, that is, conditional perfect. Conditional perfect tense should have plus past participle. It is used to express the unfulfilled past actions or the past actions, ne neglected past actions, or the actions which was foolishly done. You like that. You should have told him that the pain on that seat was wet. You should have told him that the pain on the seat was wet. But it means you did not tell him 
that the pain on the seat was wet. You did not inform, uh, inform it to him. You should have told him that the pain on that seat was wet, but you did not tell him. They should have stopped at the traffic place, that is, uh, uh, I mean, uh, the drivers should have stopped their vehicles on the traffic lights. The drivers or two wheelers should have, uh, I mean, stopped their vehicles on the traffic lights. It means they did not stop their vehicles on the traffic lights, but they did not stop. She should have opened the letter. It was it wasn't opened. It it wasn't it wasn't addressed to her. That is, she should not have opened the letter. What is this actual meaning? That is, she opened the letter. She should not have opened the letter. Means, she opened the letter. Bear it in mind. You should not speak like that. Means, you speak like that. That's all. You should not take it. Means, you are taking it. So, she should have opened the, should have opened the letter. That means, she opened it. The emergency exit doors should have been blocked. That is, the emergency exit doors should have been blocked. It means, but actually, it was blocked. Seventh use. You can use had better instead of should in spoken English. In spoken English, you can use uh, had better instead of should to express something that we think it would be sensible or advisable. To express something that is sensible or advisable. We can use had better for should. You should stop smoking. You should stop smoking. It means you had better stop smoking. Giving polite advice. Used in real conditional sentences. That is, to express some real conditions. That is, to express that something is true at the time of speaking or in the near future. We can use should. We can use should in the conditional class. If you happen to be in our area, drop in and see us. That is, if you happen to be in our area, drop in and see us. That means, if you should be in our area, instead of happen to be, we can use should be. If you should be in our area, drop in and see us. See, if, 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 you, if, you, come, if you come to our area, see us. That's all. Note, this button is not usually used in unreal conditions. See, only to express the real conditions. You can use, we can use should in the if class, but we, we should not use a should in the if class to express unreal conditions. This button is not usually used in unreal condition, conditionals, which talk about impossible, or in, impossible states or events in the if class. In, to express improbable conditions or impossible states, we should not use should in the if class. Ninth use. Used for assumptions about the present or past actions. To express uh, assumptions of the present or past actions, should is used. <coughs> Here should is used mainly with the present infinitive for non-deliberate actions only, in the affirmative or negative. Here, should is used mainly with the percent infinitive, that is, a should plus a percent verb, per percent verb, both in affirmative or negative. 
it should rain that now that is i expect it rains expectation should is used uh, the assumptions here should is used mainly with the present infinitive in the affirmative or negative it should rain there now i expect it i expect it rains there. that is it should rain there now means i think it should be raining there now it should be it should rain it should rain there now what is uh, what is the speaker wants to express the speaker wants to tell us that he thinks that it would be uh, it is raining that now sometimes should can be used with a continuous and perfect infinitives here a simple i mean bare infinitive has used here but continuous and perfect condition can also be used sometimes should can be used with a continuous and perfect infinitive the plane should be landing now that is i think that is the speaker thinks the plane should be landing now i expect it is landing i think the plane is now landing the plane should be landing now i think that the plane is landing now the letter should have arrived by this is continuous this is perfect conditional the plane would be landing now i think the plane is landing now the plane should be landing now means i think that the plane is landing now the letter should have arrived by now i think the letter uh, should have been hot i expect it has arrived the letter should have arrived by now it means i expect it has arrived the letter has arrived note assumptions with should are less confident than assumptions with will dear students that is the assumptions that is the suppositions with will is stronger than with should so if you are confident of something if you are confident of something some actions some happenings you should use will it is more confident than should you see assumptions with the should are less confident than assumptions with will that is assumptions with will is more or stronger than assumptions with the should kumar should know the address kumar should know that is i expect kumar knows it there is less expectation kumar will know the address i am sure kumar knows it so will is stronger than will will informs a stronger confident than should he should have finished by now that is he should have finished this he should have um, finished by now that is he should have that is i expect he has finished it he should have finished by now means he may have finished by now he will have finished by now means he must have finished by now he should have finished means he may he may have finished but he must he will have finished means he must have finished i am sure he has finished i expect he has finished i am sure he has finished should also express assumptions with the about the future so about the i mean to express the assumptions of the future we can use should we should have plenty of time to reach the station that is there are enough of time to reach the station we should have plenty of time that is we have enough of time we should have plenty of time means we have enough of time they should have any difficulty in finding the house that is uh, they uh, they would be having they would be having no difficulty in finding the address of the home they should have any difficulty in finding the house that is it will it will be very easy for them to find the house they should have any difficulties so that means to express the assumptions of the future 
we should have plenty of time to reach the station. That is, we are having enough of time to reach the station. They should have any difficulty in finding the finding the house. That is, they should have any difficulty. They should have any difficulty. They, uh, they would not have any. any difficulty in finding the house or to find the house. Then let us see the tenth use of this. Should is not used for assumptions which it is please the speaker. That is if the if the meaning of the, uh, the sentence is displeasing the speaker we should not use should there. Should is not used for assumptions which displease the speaker. There we should use will only. See, it's when we when should is used, it displ it displaces uh, displaces the speaker. There will should be used. Let's not go shopping now. The shops will be very crowded. Expression of displeasure. Let's not go sh shopping now. The shops will be very crowded. Expression of displeasure. Should would not be used here. Here we have to use very only. <coughs> but for the agreeable assumption, either word could be used. If it is an agreeable one, if it, if it is an enjoyable one, then either, that is, uh, either should or will can be used. If it is an agreeable one, if it, if it is a pleasing one, you can use either words. That is, uh, should and will we can use. But if it, if it, it displeases the speaker, then we should not use should. We should use only will. Let's go shopping now. The shops will or should be fairly empty. Expression of agreement. Dear students, teachers, and other learners, <coughs> thus we will see how should as a model actually is used in about some 15 pages. Even so, I have, I have arranged it under 10 topics, its uses, but it is used more than 15 or 16 places it is used. But it is very, very important. Sure, the model actually. To express command, order, a possibility, a probability, conditions should is more important. Without without a should, you can't express most of the ideas, advice, conditions, orders. To express just moods of the speaker, should is very very important. So, Javier, I mean, uh, firm attention, Javier, firm attention in learning the uses of should. Dear students, teachers, and learners, and elders, and educationists. I, I thank all of you for watching, I mean, for listening uh, to the class about, about the uses of share. I thank all of you once again. Till I meet you in the next class, I wish all of you a very nice and sweet time. Thank you.